Good morning. Welcome to Live for Five with Pastor Ben. Welcome. I'm glad you're joining us. Uh, we've had a few of these sacred echoes, and we're going to get another one today. So I, we've been talking about something similar in Bible study and a couple other spots. So I'm I'm really glad and excited that we get to dig into that today. Uh, a little bit different scenery. This is this is my church office. Uh, so couple schedule things meant that we were going to do it here. I'm sorry about yesterday. Uh, we had Sharon Britton's funeral at 10 o'clock and things were getting rolling as we had family arriving and preparing for that. So uh, I hope that devotional and that image were a little bit helpful. Um, but we're back into our routine then today with our, our Live for Five. Good morning, June. Welcome. Let's make our beginning. This morning, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, from the rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. In our YouVersion Bible app, the verse of the day is Psalm 8, verses 3 and 4. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you care for him? Hmm. This is quite exciting and interesting. One of the things that we've mentioned recently is that the word for heavens in the for heaven in the Old Testament is always plural. Ha shamayim. And so here we see plural. And so we wonder why are there multiple heavens? And it's it's probably more our issue than it is a Hebrew issue or a Bible issue, because we think of heaven as the location where God is. But when looking at creation, heavens are the created heavenly realms. And here, we actually have it described. We don't always have it described in the Old Testament, but we do here. The works, the work of your fingers, the stuff that you've made. So I, I love that you have this imagery of who God is. He's got fingers. The moon and the stars. So the heavenly bodies. And that's that's what we have described here is moon and stars, and all the celestial things that we see at night, which you have set in place. This rings an echo of what we uh, read a little bit of in Job last week for Sunday worship, that uh, where were you when I laid the foundations of, of creation? Um, and then there's this question, though, the psalmist, the speaker is saying, I, as I look at all these things that I know you've set in place, I, I'm, I'm curious why you're so curious about us. Why you care to hear our prayers. Why you care for the sons of Adam. Uh, that's what this word man here means. It, it's, it's literally Adam, the ground man. Uh, these verses... These, they serve to instruct us ab about the created world, but our place in it, our place in it. And so the speaker's words, they, they should convict us because it's clear that we have not fulfilled the purpose for which we have been created. And, and we neither were content to lack a little bit of God. If you were to read uh, Psalm 8 verse 5, so a little earlier, or uh, uh, the next verse, yet you have made him, man, a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honor. Interesting. Uh, good morning, be good to see you. Uh, but we, we want to be gods ourselves. So Adam and Eve, they were tempted by this prospect from the serpent. The serpent said, you will be like God in Genesis 3 verse 5. And Adam and Eve, they took the bait. They were not content with their place in God's created order. 
And so they tried to usurp what belonged to God. And that's what the writer is talking about here, the speaker of this psalm. He's, he's describing us in relationship to the heavens, the moon, the stars, and all the things that God's fingers have made. But in this description of us and what we are in Christ, what we will be, at his return, at his appearing, is heirs with him and rulers of all these things. So if you if you look at Romans 8, 17, and if children, then if we're children of God, then we're heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. And Galatians chapter 3, verse 29 says something similar. And if you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. So the, the psalm leads us down this path that scripture talks about quite a bit. And it actually is reminiscent of this text as well. Uh, psalm 8 verse 2 says that we are babies and infants. Out of the mouth of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your foes to still the enemy of the avenger. And we sing this. We sing this in... Uh, one of our favorite hymns, Holy, 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 uh, Lord God Almighty, early in the morning, our song shall sing your praise. Um, and then we, we speak of how children lift up their voices. Uh, well, I was also, I was thinking of all glory, laud, and honor. Um, all glory, laud, and honor where children raise up their songs of praise to Jesus, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring out of the mouths of babies and infants who defeat the enemy by the word of God. The word of God does this, not the wise. Uh, and so the church, when when you actually look at, at even adults, we look weak, but the word of Christ, which pro, we proclaim, is our strength. This is the the picture this psalm lays out for us in the reality of Christ, even though it doesn't mention Christ. Our reality in Christ is right now hidden, but looking to our future hope. That's what this psalm is leading to, is what our future hope is in Christ. We didn't live up to what uh, God had set forth for us, but in Christ we become what he's created us to be. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, you have made all these wonderful things of the heavens and we look at them and sit in awe wondering why you care for us. But in Christ you have given us such strength to see the joys of our future that you have for us. Help us to rest in this joy and future hope knowing that the reality belongs to us right Now, we pray this in your Son's name, Jesus Christ, our hope. Amen. May you rest in this psalm. Go back and read the whole psalm. This is a joyful psalm of our our praise to magnify the name of the Lord in all the earth and all that he has created with his fingers. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Look forward to seeing you soon.